All right, so the trick is not to fall inside the water over here. I do want to make a few casts. Oh yeah, fish on guys. All right, fish on. So it's a small little peacock over here from the canal. It's awesome. All right. So it is a really small little guy. Ooh, awesome. And that was on the IA 1.1 inch LU toe in our watermelon color. Is there anything bigger around? Alright, right, let's just land him. Awesome one. Thanks. Nice. With the boga. Alright guys, uh, there's the fish on the IA 1.1 inch Aluto in our watermelon uh, V2 color. That's awesome. Let's let this guy go. There we go. TV. So in today's video, we're just out here uh, roaming the canals and we're trying to target some tomensis or some pico bass near the edges of the uh, banks as well as in the open. Uh, but yeah, I'm actually using my 2021 Shimano Calcutta Conquest uh, 101 as well as my Snow Icicle which is rated 612. Uh, it's quite fun. It's not the ideal setup for canal fishing but I'm having fun regardless. Uh, just now I caught one fish on the IA 1.1 inch Aluto and I have since swapped to the 2.3 inch T-code and I'm gonna go find some frenzying fish. Uh, it should be fun. Uh, so yeah, I'll catch you guys once I'm onto some more fish. Oh, right guys. Uh, so after combing one part of the canal, which didn't really hold any fish, I've actually walked over here to this part in the hopes of finding either some fry balls or maybe some frenzying fish as well as hunting for fish that are actually nesting or pairing up near the banks I haven't really fished this part in quite some time it's been like a few years uh, but I thought it'd be quite fun to give it a shot today now it, it is like a bit windy so the weather's not in my favor but that's all right let's see what we can do so as I'm walking down this canal I'm always looking at the water scanning at the surface to see any disturbances that could indicate whether there are some fry balls or some schooling fish. So, so far, uh, before I actually decided to come here, I saw some activity. But, okay, so there, just in front, there's some frenzying fish. It's a pretty big frenzy. So I think one I, yeah, I should be able to catch them. Uh, it's, oh yeah, fish on, guys. So, oh, that's what I was talking about. It's a frenzy. And I should be able to cast again and catch one. So that one kind of ruined my rubber, uh, but I know that they're in front. They're probably eating on some bait fish. So I'm just gonna cast again. So it shouldn't be long. Just cast inside the center of it. Let it sink a bit. Oh, that's a miss. Okay, I'll wait for them to rise again uh, before casting. So for now, what I'll do is I'll actually go down. Let me just crawl over the railing. Okay, now I'll just wait for them to rise again. Let's give them a couple minutes, but in the meantime, 
will cast in the general location as to where I saw them. There's actually another frenzy to the left, uh, sorry, to the right. So this canal actually has some nice activity going on, which is awesome. All right, fish on, guys. Yep, there's a fish on the IA 2.3 inch boat in Ruby Red. Who's gonna jump? Okay, not yet. Oh, nice. Nice to this guys. Awesome. So I think this part of the canal actually holds most of the activity. For today at least. So I'm just gonna land this guy and then cast again. Send me more we can catch. Awesome. Ooh, okay, auto release, auto release. That's fine. Let's put the rubber back on. So he kind of annihilated my rubber, but I'll try and rig-rig it, see if it works. Okay, it kind of works. Okay, we'll cast on this location again. See if we become another one. So I feel that there is resistance on my jigged and I don't really like it, so I'm going to swap to a new soft plastic. And I can feel the resistance, it's not that nice. Alright, let's get a new one out. Uh, this one I'll just throw in my bag. Take another one of these 2.3s. Alright guys, so since I don't really have the ideal rubber to be playing uh, the bottom here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back up along the park connector and I'm going to continue walking down to where I see there's a little bit more structure and see if I can see any more fish breaking the surface and then I'll be testing the IA 2.3 inch decode which is the straight tail soft plastic uh, inside the school. Uh, but I might come back here with the with a spinning setup and some paddle tails to target the fish that are actually sitting below the frenzying fish which is like my preferred method of fishing like canals. Uh, but yeah, uh, let me walk to where I see some more structure and then I'll catch back with you guys. Alright guys, uh, fish on from all the way above on this uh, highway bridge. So I actually caught a fish. Uh, I'll land it and show you guys. <laughs> Look at this. I don't know if I'll put it in the video, but... <laughs> Never mind. Oh, fish on. Yes, nice one. All right, fish on, guys. Oh yeah, nice.
Oh shit guys Oh man Wow Alright, there's the fish guys On the IA 3 inch dabbler Wow Okay Nice one It's an okay size fish Especially for here guys here's the fish on the IA 3 inch devler over here inside the canal now originally I didn't really want to be casting this lure because uh, I just want to see how aggressive they were or how they would react to a larger uh, size bait and they're reacting quite well so that's good news nice let's get the hook out Alright guys, so I think I'm coming to the end of the session now because I can see that this canal uh, uh, it just gets smaller and smaller but today's session was actually really productive for myself uh, because A, I haven't really explored these canals too much uh, maybe I explored them maybe 5-6 years ago but it feels good to be exploring them again with soft plastics uh, today so I actually used three different models, those models being the IA 1.1 inch Eluto, which I caught I think one fish on. And then I used the 2.3 inch cheat code, I caught a couple of fish. Uh, that was actually really fun to use, especially for those fish that were feeding below the surface. And then finally I actually used the IA 3 inch Dabbler. Uh, so I really just wanted to try out a paddle tail to see how the fish were going to react to it. Uh, so far they react pretty good but I would prefer to use a 2.2 inch soft plastic because uh, I think it matches what they're feeding on so I'm gonna go down maybe like maybe a five minute walk from here and then try again and then I'll call it a day but I hope you guys enjoyed the video so far and I'll catch you guys in the next one